Hi guys, we are Azia from Blades and Triggers. And we're back today, um, bringing you a bit of a sneak peek of what you can actually find at any Blades and Triggers. And um, yeah, I've actually got the Pod G19 Thermal Spotter with me today. We're gonna be taking a look at what it's actually made up of and what you can get in the box. Pretty awesome unit uh, that you can actually use for different applications. Let's see what applications are, basically, Think of a couple that you can actually use this for. So let's take a deeper look into it. All right, guys, so taking a look at the Pod G19. Um, first of all, let's take a look to my right over here, or what you actually get the unit in, as a nice, um, basically waterproof case. And um, quite a decent, pretty much expensive torch, or um, spotter, thermal spotter. You need something pretty decent to store it in and um, the guys from part obviously thought quite well in terms of packaging packaging the unit um, decent packaging you get your a decent foam inlay and uh, you get your charger which basically just blocks in as well as the cable that connects the well your charger to the unit that basically comes with in the case as I mentioned quite a nice sturdy case I mean you obviously are looking you Decently, you will be looking for something quite nice and sturdy to actually store um, the Pod G19 in. So yeah, that's what you actually get in the box. But a little bit more of the unit. Let's take this out. All right, looking at the unit itself, um, you have a like, decent aluminium frame. So as a, quite a nice rugged feel to the Pod Spotter. Um, but the main stuff is obviously inside. All right, main parts are in the inside, but overall we're looking at a basic five inch screen that we have on the outside. And um, the cool thing about that is that not necessarily only yourself or a single person can actually view any images. You can get a group or a couple of people that can actually look through the, the spotter and see what you're actually looking for. I think that makes it quite important or which is actually a decent benefit for the spotter itself versus your normal night vision or a thermal scope. You've got a couple of options in that itself. Then uh, basically in and around the, the spotter, you've got up in front, you've got the laser and you've got a small torch. So basically just to give some light on the subject, a little bit closer to it, but laser quite important itself. So in most cases, if you do see an item, or if you do see something of interest at night, you can always switch the laser on and um, identify it or basically give a little bit, give more people or tell a little bit more people about what you're actually looking for or where the actual item is. Um, getting into the, the unit, it's basically just switching the power button on and um, yeah, you'll get into your five inch screen, which gives you a couple of more options in terms of what we're all about. Um, and that I'll tell you about next. All right, as mentioned, once you switch on the unit, you can actually flip through a different color, a couple of different color modes. Currently, as it is a set of in hot, um, uh, your inert settings, and you can actually flip that through with the bottom button to basically a sky mode, a white hot mode, as well as black hot. So yeah, anything that picks up heat will obviously shine in black everything else uh, white and then you get a red hot as well so the heat of my hand is basically picking up uh, the red or the red is actually in showing the heat itself and um, yeah back to the in art stage so you've got three different buttons on the front of the screen or in front of the screen itself one would obviously change your different color settings or your different color modes that you can actually go through alternatively if you need to you can also go into your settings and um, that gives you a couple of different options from basically switching or changing your language your hot tracker um, going down to basically switching on your compass or composure your different contrast brightness different modes you can change obviously your sharpness of the item and basically going to a couple of default settings in terms of your 
your, your time and the rest itself. The cool thing about this unit, it actually has a bit of a zoom function as well. So you can actually zoom in about up to about four times, um, depending on what you actually have the item set onto. And yeah, all of this basically charged by an 18650 battery. The cool thing about the pod, uh, the pod G19, you can actually pick up a human body up to about a human heat of a human body up to about 700 meters away, and basically a car or a car size up to a thousand kilometers. I'm um, thousand meters, sorry, thousand kilometers is quite far. But all of this in uh, that specific unit. Um, which could also be used for quite a different a couple of different options from different game spotting or alternatively security reasons or gen gentle leisure as well. So that would be the part G19 which I have over here. All right guys, and there we have it, the part G19 thermal spotter. Quite a decent unit um, that I could and I think it could be used for a whole lot of different purposes. As I mentioned, um, there's a security element if you obviously go out at night more than one person that actually needs to view in the surrounding areas you can actually use the thermal spotter for that alternatively if you're out on a bit of a game drive um, and you're a group of people not necessarily one a uh, couple of more or a couple of people can actually look through the spotter get a decent view of what you're actually looking for you've got the laser to actually spot it or a bit of a torch as well just to give you a bit of indication on the surrounding areas as well alternatively yeah just to have something of this um, we've actually got the full range of part products on our online store or basically if you pop into any store you can find these units over there as i mentioned bntonline.co.za is where you'll find it alternatively any of our 13 stores if you like this uh, this video or any others don't forget to like and subscribe with the bell notification up above. Other than that, I'll see you on the next awesome review.